Well welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to continue with the brass dome. Not a lot of progress really, so it's going to be quite a short video. Bit of an update really. So if you watched last week's video you would have seen that uh, silver soldering the brass dome didn't work out too well. In the last video there were a lot of really good comments, lots of suggestions and uh, ideas so it's very much appreciated, it's all taken into consideration. I have attempted to um, rescue it and also I've been experimenting a little bit with soft soldering. Um, anyway we'll see how we get on. Okay so I've had a time to reflect on this overnight. So. What I'm wondering is, can I retrieve this? So, if I put a bit of pressure on there, I can actually close it up a bit. So, I'm going to put some clamps on the inside, bring it together, and see if I can silver solder it. Okay, I've got a couple of clamps in behind there. I couldn't get the clamps to close the joint so I thought I would just add a wire into there and take it from there. Worth a try anyway. I'm not optimistic. So my attempt at filling in the gap has almost worked, but not quite. So I don't think this is going to be usable. Well, it's not terrible, but it's just not good enough. It has been suggested I should have just soft soldered this. The reason I wanted to use a silver solder is um, colour wise it blends in much better. I think if I'd soft soldered it there'd be quite a prominent um, silver line on there that you would see. I mean even there when I look closely I can see silver solder in places so anyway. Maybe it would have worked, I don't know. I could give it a try. But anyway, we're going to try some soft soldering with a different technique. So this is the former that I used to form these sides with a recess to form a flange around there to form the inside flange. But for this method I'm going to try, there won't be in a flange, they're going to the sides are going to butt together 
So I've filed the other edge of this former to be able to do that. I've made two test pieces to give this a try which I've formed around there. Okay I've cut a piece of uh, 0.4mm 15 thou copper strip which I've annealed, polished up so I just need to bend that. So I've got a V block, I've got a bit of 3 8 bar which is 9.5 so just push that into there See what that looks like. Okay, so we want to put these together at 90 degrees. So I've got a bit of masking tape there. Hopefully we can position them. So my idea of using the masking tape didn't go that well, but I've been messing about with it and I've got it pretty much in line on the copper strip fits in pretty nicely here I've got some uh, pre-mixed solder paste I'll just put in that Okay, it's looking okay. I did overheat this side so it didn't solder properly. But from about there onwards, it seems to be okay. Okay, so I've got a square file. I'm just going to file a groove along there a little bit. flux in there or soft solder paste I should say and I've got a 0.6 wire to go in there So the idea now is to switch that brass wire into the brass sheet to try and reduce the thickness of the solder. So we'll flatten it out. Okay, I'll just give that a bit of a file up. That's not worked. So as you will have seen, the brass wire didn't stay in the joint. I think because as I swaged it down into the groove there that I filed in, it um, weakened the uh, solder joint. So swaging the brass in isn't a solution. So I need to work a bit more on how to get a, an invisible joint soft soldering. But anyway, in the meantime, I'm going to put that to one side and I'm going to go back to silver soldering. So I've prepared two plates. So the idea is to put well those, is to put solder those together, but put a copper backing piece in there. And what I'm thinking of doing is actually drilling uh, for some 10 BA brass bolts or brass screws to go in there, maybe th maybe three a side to keep that clamped in place and then if it's successful after silver soldering 
um, I can file those brass screws down and they should blend in. So that's my thinking. Okay, well I'm going to stop it there before I go any further because I've come to a decision. So I'm going to actually have another go at my first method of silver soldering the sides together with the three uh, wires in. So I'll add additional clamping on the inside to keep the two halves together and I'll add some other reinforcement and hopefully this time it'll go okay. So unfortunately that's going to be in the next video. So wish me luck. So thanks for watching and thanks to all my subscribers. See you next time.